Hey y'all, today we're going thrifting. Stay tuned. All right guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. Today, me and Kayla are going to our local thrift stores to see if we can find some stuff to buy cheap and then sell for market value on places like eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Macari, and Poshmark. I do want to give two shout outs to Shane and Donna for buying me a coffee and supporting me and the channel. If you would like to do that, there's a link down below. I got the GoPro, we got some gas in the car, so let's go thrifting. All right, this first thrift store, I've already actually been to the golf clubs and there were no golf clubs. This is the electronics and I see this really nice looking combo unit here. I've actually, I say I stopped picking these up, but I will pick them up when they're in this good a condition and they're super lightweight. It seems like the lighter they are, this is the rule of thumb that I use. The lighter they are, the more money they're worth. This one's plastic and I did actually do the sole comps on this and it did go up to about 50 to 60 bucks and they only wanted seven dollars for it and there is a three-day return rate these right here uh they didn't have a price on them and i knew if i tried to buy them that i would have to wait for a super long time to get a price so i did put those back uh, i know there's not like a flat rate on those and they usually are priced now it's just some old media there moving on off to the left right there is some fishing line that is monofilament it's not really worth a whole bunch of money if that was braid i would 100 percent pick that up These are a whole bunch of new golf balls, but they wanted $4 a piece for them, and I thought that was a little much, so I moved on. All right, second thrift store here, and I see a box over here looking like there was going to be some brand new golf clubs in it. I'm just super excited, and there is nothing in there. It was a blind for a house, so very sad. And I started looking at some golf clubs here. Right off the bat, I see these irons off to the side. These are Adams Tight Lie G GTs. They are older, and they actually are missing the 7 and 8 iron, but I do end up picking them up later on, and then I see a club with a head cover. If I ever see a, a decent club with a head cover for $3, I usually pick it up. This is a McGregor. Now, that's not a super good name brand, but it's really not bad. This was a ladies' driver in pretty good condition with a head cover in good condition. Definitely going to pick that one up for 3 bucks. There is a ping right there for sale, but they wanted $8 for it, and I think that's a little bit steep. I've noticed that most of my Goodwills now are pricing up golf clubs all the way up to about $10 a piece. So this is me picking up the rest of them, showing that it is missing the 7 and 8 iron. I will sell these most likely individually, and for $3 a piece, you really can't go wrong with some good Adams tight lies irons so i do take a look at these head covers and i always say pick up head covers you can get them for like 50 cents to a dollar now this one right here is a really good callaway one but it's a little bit sun faded on the top and for two bucks i just didn't think it was worth it these hats were a bummer i don't pick up any hats now that are stained or need a lot of work or anything like that these Titleist hats and uh, Callaway hats were in not that good a condition, and they were embroidered, all of them, with different types of golf clubs and golf courses. So I left them all behind, but all of them, like I said, were not in that good of condition. All of them had stains, and the one in front of me I knew was going to be worth some money. It's a Titleist FJ hat, but I left it behind just because of how many stains it had. Here I'm just scanning the shelves. As you can tell, there is a ton of stuff on these shelves today. There's not a lot of people out in the thrift today. It seemed like there was uh, just nobody was really out. It was a really, really rainy day, kind of nasty out, and people weren't really driving around down in South Carolina because nobody can get some gas. So uh, we had the thrift stores really to ourselves, but I found nothing. They wanted $9 for this Corningware roasting pan. I put that back. I thought that was a little high. But I do see something down the shelf here that I'm definitely going to comp out here in a second. I did not comp this out. It didn't say that was Corningware on it or anything. And they wanted $9 for it. So I put that back. But I'm kind of interested. I should have actually looked this one up because I didn't really know what that was. And I 
felt like it could have been worth some money. So I was watching YouTube and I did see some people picking up pressure cookers and this one right here is a pressure cooker and when I picked it up it is a super heavy and it looked brand new it didn't have anything really wrong with the outside of it so I do end up copying this out and they wanted $15 for this but when I unscrew the top and look inside it's actually brand new everything is still sealed it comes with like a basket a thermometer and a recipe book and it did comp out for over $60 so I definitely picked that up. Alright, moving on to I think this is our third or fourth thrift store. They have been pricing things up like crazy lately. As you can tell, there are some no-name brand stuff right there for $8 to $9. This one that I keep uh, looking at, that is a Snake Eyes. And I do end up buying that. That is a Senior Flex. It looks like it's in brand new condition, although it does need a grip. And for $3, I thought I could probably at least make $10 on that golf club. But other than that, there's nothing here in the golf club section. And as I move my way over to the pots and pans, I thought this was going to be a vintage salad master, but it's not, which is disappointing. And I do point out some stuff about the prices here. I don't really take a lot of video in here because we were in and out of this, this thrift store just because the prices were super high, I thought. Down there, there is a bread maker, but they want it $49.99. That's what I'm pointing out with the end of the golf club. And uh, so I make my way over to the electronics because nothing in cookware. I come over to electronics, I see some pretty good Blu-ray players, so I get kind of excited. And then I do a double take here, I'm like, what does that say? And that thing says for a Blu-ray player, it says $49.99, 50 bucks. So I definitely left that one behind. Alright, this goodwill is a little bit different. I really don't go to this one a whole bunch. It's about an hour and 15 minutes away from the house. And we probably come here about maybe once a month to once every two months. As you said, there's a ton of clothing here, but I know exactly where they keep the golf clubs, and that is where I'm heading. As I make my way to the golf clubs, I immediately see a decent looking hybrid sitting on top. So I'm like, man, this is going to be good. This is a Adams Golf Hybrid and uh, definitely a decent club because the clubs here are only $1.89. Can you believe that for golf clubs? So super good here. I do pick up, as you see, another one that's a four and then they're in super good condition. I am really surprised at the condition that these are in. And I start rummaging through and I do pick up the other one. So I got a four, five, and six hybrid, which is definitely good from Adams. I come over and show Kayla what I got. Then she points out this fishing box down on the bottom shelf that I actually missed. I walked right by it and I'm like, oh yeah, I know exactly what that thing is. This is going to be a really nice old Plano box called Over and Under. And I do comp this out on video just to show you, but this was $5 and a really good pickup. I do check to make sure because there should be some trays in here and I do make sure that all of this works, the latches work and make sure it's not broken. And it's a pretty good shot there of my nice looking shoes. And I do comp it out, and there's a sole comp for pre-owned right there for $60 plus shipping. So definitely going to pick that up for $5. So this thrift store has really been a home run so far with some pretty good golf clubs and that. And then I go over to the electronics, and I cannot believe what I see is I have to even address the camera to get this on film. That is a Bose Center speaker now i don't know if it works but i sit here and flip this thing around because i couldn't find exactly how much it was and it was written on the back but they do only want eight dollars for this and i'm a hundred percent going to pick this up anything bows for eight dollars i don't even have to think twice as i'm going to pick that stuff up
I did comp out the bows and it did go for about $60. And I'm looking at this turntable here. I know nothing about turntables. They did want, I think, $50 for that Kodak carousel. I didn't even look at that because I thought that was a little bit high for that item. All right, so we just went to a thrift store and I did not actually take the GoPro in because we usually never find stuff in there. They never have golf clubs, but we always go in just to see. And we actually did find some stuff and I got this stuff for $3.20. So less than a dollar an item here. The first item is like a brand new Titleist head cover. I always like to pick these head covers up. This thing will easily go for $10 plus shipping online. It's in good condition. Um, uh, I mean, how can you not pick that up for like 75 cents? So definitely good there. And then we did get a Master Grips lob wedge. Again, not a huge money maker here, but for how cheap I got it for, definitely got to pick this thing up. So lob wedge right there. I always pick wedges up, especially when they're only 75 cents. A Ben Hogan forged edge nine iron. I'm always going to pick these guys up too. I'm trying not to hit any type of windows and shatter windows in here. So there you go. That is a Ben Hogan forged nine iron edge in pretty good condition. I mean, they're basically giving this stuff away and each one of these aren't super expensive they'll probably go for about 10 to 15 dollars plus shipping maybe a little bit less but that's 10 dollars you know profit and item now so the next one right here is actually pretty interesting it is a callaway s2 h2 gems it says pending patent which is weird then up here it says not for resale so i don't know really what's going on with this club but i wanted to pick it up just because it was a callaway it does have a nice graphite shaft it is a ladies gem club so right there i think probably about 15 dollars there so not too terrible there i think we have about two or three more thrift stores to go to not a whole bunch you did see me pick up uh, some golf clubs each golf club probably about 15 dollars even that nice mcgregor driver i picked up you would think that'd be worth like 40 or 50 dollars not really it's probably worth about 20 bucks plus shipping and then the most expensive thing i've picked up so far is definitely that pressure cooker i had there's a soul comp for 60 bucks plus 35 dollars in shipping so a little bit over 100 bucks there that's not 100 dollars. that's like 90 dollars. all right a couple more to go let's see what we can find all right so the last thrift store here i'm just looking around they had some pretty cool like old wedding dresses but i'm not going to try to sell any of that stuff so uh, I kept on looking through and they had some really nice looking dolls. Now, I have bought dolls in the past and made a ton of money on them. None of these really caught my eye or anything. Although I do see a I Love Lucy doll in one of the shelves. And then I go over here real quick because that's what catches my eye. And I do comp it out. They wanted $25 for it and the comps were around 40 bucks. So I kept it there because it looked really big, kind of breakable and hard to ship. So I uh, left that one behind. All right, so it's two o'clock. We are done thrifting. So we thrifted from about 10 to two and we did pretty good. You saw everything on the last thrift store. I also picked up a Wagner number nine. I put a picture up of it right here and uh, that is actually pretty good. It's like a cast iron grill it, 10 and a quarter inch. Uh, it, mine is actually made in the United States and has some pretty good comps on it between about 60 to 80 bucks and mine's in pretty good condition. So I was super, super excited about that because I usually never find good cast iron in any of the thrift stores, but I always do look for it. So today was, I would say, above average thrifting days. These are the ones I used to have like a year ago when I would go every day. So I'm super excited about all the stuff I got and can't wait to list it. I do appreciate everybody that watches. Hopefully this has been educational. Hopefully you can go out there and find some of these items, flip them for yourself and make some money. And you know I will always catch you on the next one.